Hey Sag, it's me, Brandy. This is for the next few weeks. These are the Pluto cards we're going to dive into. Um, it's for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But let me tell you, premeditating, there's so much obscurity going on in the world right now. And I literally feel it is like a splitting of people who are liars and who like to stay in that and the truth seekers and the spiritual people under attack <laughs> it's crazy and i'm saying that because it's like in faith right now you got to trust and just surrender to what's going on and stay out of it right it's like a lot of 12th house of self undoing unfathomable things and there is no clarifying direction which is why everyone just needs to sit still don't do anything drastic okay don't do anything drastic a lot is clouding the issue here is frog let's see where is it let's get the frog out Page number is the frog 75. Hmm. I just went straight to it. Nice. We're at the last reading for the evening doing this. If you like it, make sure you hit subscribe and stuff. Because I got a lot going on and I may end up in the hospital, so I'm trying to get these done. So, and you can always donate to the channel. Okay. This is. I like it to focus, but okay. It's like a shadow hand of a frog, okay? Just. Just know that. Purification, cleansing, and grief. Just as the amphibious frog spends his time in the water, the arrival is a call to get in touch with the sacred element. Take a shower or a bath, go to the ocean, visit a lake or a river, and allow the clear water to purify your soul. It may also be that you need a good cry, because it can represent the journey of grief. As much as people claim they don't enjoy crying, we often feel better after we do. To cry is to perch. To release all the things we've carried inside us for just a little too long. If you've been grappling with the complicated journey of grief, it may be time to let it out and embrace the literal and metaphorical cleanse. However, consider also that sadness isn't the only reason people cry. There are tears of anger, frustration, exhaustion, and even joy. Whatever you're feeling, it needs to be expressed through water, one way or another. Okay, and the deeper meaning. Whew. Consider that our bodies are about 60% water. It's also the quote by Isaac, the cure for anything is salt water, sweat, tears, or the sea. Okay, okay, understood. I mean, there is almost like a frustration though of those physical symptoms and you have no reason for them this is the things from under the surface trying to come out that maybe you have repressed right maybe you're taking other people's uh reactions or something and you can't get the correct answer and it's it's a swamp it's dangerous so just don't get pulled over by their complications their unintentional zapping of you like and how they view the world confused huh? as i say that the the chaos accompanying the confusion seems misguided however the others are too embroiled in the situation to see clearly so you you need to make it simpler thank you spirit thank you yeah exactly Make it simpler. Sorry. One more. Yeah, it's like the way they view the world. It's overwhelming you. Sharing responsibilities is not a weakness of character. In fact, it demonstrates an ability to trust in others and allows the opportunity to participate. But that's on the other side. <laughs> that's like on the outcome side. Okay. I don't know why I looked at that, but 434 was on the clock, and I feel it's very prominent with numbers for you, Sag. There's a lot of dishonesty, which is the confusion, okay? And you just need to make sure you have proper boundaries right now, from what I can tell. Um, it's not always intentional, but there is a zapping. 
a zapping <laughs> of you, okay? Um, it's almost like a, a lot of rushing of the water, the deep. I mean, I'm seeing it like bubble. So it's funny, this can bubble, 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 bubble up to the surface, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of that shit's going on. Excuse my French. A lot of it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, all right, let's get confused for Sag, the Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you felt even pulled to this title. That's usually what matters, to be fair. All right, we got two. Death and the Five of Wands in the reverse. Three of Swords. Okay, that's a grief there, my friend. It's a lot of grief. That's dark energy. Um, making, uh, like, I don't know, a breakup. Having, having to compete. I mean, there's a lot of sadness right there that needs to be purged. Fighting, arguments, frustration. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's why maybe you're confused like someone wants you someone doesn't you're exactly what they wanted yet this is what they're doing they're causing more grief more pain you need to walk away from it I mean if you're lonely this is a perception swap because you're bringing more sorrow and more grief on your nervous system. And they're trying to get you to course correct that. To purge what you thought was like, you know what I mean? Because you're just going to bring on suffering in the future. And they're trying to give you like a catalyst for growth. You know? It's... What makes you suffer is wanting things to be permanent when they're not. Not everything's supposed to be permanent. You know? So... It's change. You have to embrace change. You have to embrace the impermanence. And not everything is permanent. Happiness does not last forever. But neither does pain and sorrow. Neither does pain and sorrow, which is where you're confused about how life's supposed to be. You cannot keep bringing this unnecessarily cruel energy into your life, whether that's people, conflict, whatever. That's why they want you to purge and end that shit. Let that die out. Let go what wants to go so you can stop being overwhelmed, you know, and be happy and be happy and purge that. Overwhelmed, please. Queen of Swords. Clarity, hopefully. Ace of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, Son of Swords, Temperance, and Daughter of Wands. So this definitely feels like a let's share responsibilities to our family dynamic. Okay. Someone's been cutting you down. I mean, this is nothing but like a home. Home. It's a overwhelmed. Maybe thinking you got to do everything on your own or it won't survive. You know. And that is sharing the responsibilities. And if you are not in that type of dynamic, this is you understanding that what's meant for you will come into you when it's supposed to come into you. Okay? You want that family, then you need to have a different perspective. Right? You have to have that faith. Um, like, sometimes... We don't get what we want on our timeline for a good reason. Everyone is allowed to have happiness. And if, if you don't have some form of happiness, whether that's friends, um, co-workers that act as family, you know what I mean? Like, no one is meant to be, even if that's joining a group. I'm just saying, like, this is about your health. <clears throat> doing things, um causing all these imbalances in your emotions. 
it's really affecting your soul and you don't need similarities in order to have peace in your well-being or to be truly yourself to have someone come in who appreciates you and those people that are in connection with you who cooperate with you okay it's about boundaries that you keep between yourself and the people you love which is where you're overwhelmed they are not meant to be walls it's a meeting place you're supposed to meet in the middle that's where the hope comes back in that's where the perspective swap is that's when people can welcome each other to the table of teamwork and partnership and friendship and love and bring you together right like what is the common interest maybe that's why it's confusing and overwhelming because no one's really been direct about what they want right no one's been direct about what they want for this dynamic or this relationship or this work whatever this is for you which is the frustration okay I'm going to get this Oracle close this out if you cannot afford a live it's fine I do five minute full on I, I pre-meditate first and then I go and it's me completely rambling on your questions for $28 delivered to your email I understand that I keep those because I am here to help people all right Sag Sun Moon Rising and Venus <sighs> That was hard. I mean, if you guys, if you can't hear me, like, take a deep breath. Delight. Hmm. Yeah, that comes with change, though. A change perspective. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Sag. The sparrow gains its power from its numbers and clusters. Sparrows eat and forage and predators are distracted and deterred, even intimidated by their numbers. Security and joy in numbers is a lesson of the sparrow. Within their community, sparrows are always busy living life fully. Many cultures align. The meaning of the sparrow with joy. And in the Middle Ages, the sparrow was thought to relieve suffering Help one triumph over hardships and bring joy. Folks, come on now. Delight is expanding in your life. Clap your hands with glee. Spend time with others. Go to a community gathering. Host a party. The joy you experience will give birth to immense creativity and your life will blossom. Share your happiness with others and it will grow by leaps and bounds. It is not the time to be serious or buckle down and get to work. This is the time to be spontaneous and madcap. Do not make hard and fast commitments. Don't sign any legal documents or make pledges right now. Don't make promises. Give yourself permission to have fun and the community with others, okay? If this resonated, make sure you hit like, share, subscribe, and comment, and I will catch you later.